It's about 6% of Brazil's population lives in the shantytowns. That's some 11 million people, roughly the population of Portugal. And believe it or not, they're proving to be a big draw for tourists. I talk about that with a man who leads some of those tours, Daniel Amgarten. It's rare to see someone moving uh, from a country coming to Brazil just to visit the favela. But once someone is in Rio, for instance, it's very common, uh, nowadays it's very common to go to a favela and enjoy their lifestyle, see how they live. And also there is a geographical reason why um, the favelas, especially in the south area of Rio, are attracting tourists because from there you have a very nice view of Copacabana, of Ipanema, and not to mention that favela is also very um, important. It's very important culturally uh, in Brazil. So samba, which is uh, our main rhythm, was uh, created, was invented in the favela. So the cultural part of, um, of the favela is also very rich. Daniel, some people argue that the culture is going away. Favela residents have used terms like social cleansing to describe how the Brazilian government is treating them, doing things like kicking them out of their homes. Brazil, though, says it's an effort to modernize the city. What is your take on that? Okay, so I think um, the urbanization of the favela, I mean, putting uh, all the services they need, which is electricity, and water and so on is very important for the residents. Uh, what happens that these might put the prices higher and then it starts in speculation in the price of the real estate. So that might make people live in other places. And I know people that could live somewhere else, but they don't want to leave uh, the place because their friends are there, uh, their life, um, their life they're there. So um, I don't think this cultural part of the, of the favela will just uh, disappear. It's not just tours of favelas, but some World Cup visitors are actually planning to stay in favelas during their time in Brazil. They're using websites like favelaexperience.com. How welcoming mm. are the people living there? How are the residents uh, reacting to all these visitors? Just like in other places, there are some residents that like the idea of having more tourists uh, walking around their neighborhoods, and some of the residents might not like that, which is, which happens in, in Paris or in other touristic um, area. I think, especially in the case of the favela, um, people are enjoying that because it's a part of the city. The tourists didn't go um, uh, in the past. So now they are starting going. One funny thing is that most of the tourists that go to the, favela, go to the favelas are not Brazilians. So they are international tourists. Daniel, we have about 30 seconds left. Will the people living in the favelas actually benefit from all the money generated by the World Cup? Yeah, I think the whole um, country should uh, will benefit from um, the World Cup, of course, you might have heard about protests, uh, and so we, uh, the government spent a lot of money, but actually the international tourists that are coming here and also the Brazilians that are traveling around uh, are generating uh, income through tourism, and in the favela is not different. So people that live in the favela, they work in hotels, restaurants, and ones that are more uh, tourists in the city, there will be more income for the city, for the country in general, and mainly for those that are uh, working directly with uh, the tourists. All right, Daniel Amgarten, co-founder of Campus Brazil, thank you so much for joining us from Sao Paulo. Thank you.